It's new turmoil for the Department of Justice after Attorney General William Barr abruptly overruled his prosecutors in the case of longtime Trump confidant Roger Stone. Tonight, more than 1,100 former Justice Department officials are accusing Barr and the president of interfering, quote, in the fair administration of justice. Here's ABC's Kira Phillips. President Trump in Florida today revving up the crowd as Grand Marshal at the Daytona 500. Taking a lap in his limo, the beast, before thousands of NASCAR superfans. But tonight, the president and his attorney general under attack by more than a thousand former Department of Justice officials, accusing them of interfering in, quote, the fair administration of justice, calling for William Barr to resign, saying it's outrageous the way he interfered in the case of convicted Trump ally Roger Stone. But in an exclusive interview with ABC News, Barr told Pierre Thomas he did not coordinate with the White House in the Stone case. So just to be clear here, did you talk to the president at all about your decision regarding the recommendations? The recommendations on this case? Never. Anybody from the White House call you to try to influence? No. Nope. I have not, I have not discussed the Roger Stone case at the White House. At all. At all. The president called the department's sentencing recommendation of seven to nine years a miscarriage of justice. It was thrown out, prompting all four prosecutors on the case to resign. The former DOJ employees and federal prosecutors accuse Barr of flouting principles based on an even handed administration of justice, saying that the Stone case was just the latest example, adding a person should not be given special treatment in a criminal prosecution because they are a close political ally of the president. And Kira Phillips joins us now live from West Palm Beach, Florida, near the president's Mar-a-Lago resort, where he spent the weekend. Kira, many of these former Department of Justice officials have been critical of the administration in the past. You're absolutely right, Tom. These former employees served under Democratic and Republican presidents, and many of them have called on Barr to resign in the past. As for Roger Stone, well, he's set to be sentenced on Thursday, Tom. Kira Phillips for us tonight. Kira, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.